Hello everyone, Super Smash 77 here, and today I'll be talking about my E3 predictions. Let's get this started. Uh, so first off, I just want to say that I will not be talking about Smash Bros, because I'm going to do a separate video on that, so look forward to that. So yeah, no Smash Bros in this video. Okay, I'm going to start off with Pokken Fighters, which we've only actually seen like two seconds of footage, and we're not even sure if that's the real name or if it's even a fighting game. Uh, I do think it will be at E3 regard regardless if it's a fighting game or Pokemon Stadium free or whatever that game is. I feel like we're going to see that. I think I don't know if it will be playable or not. I think it will come out late 2014, early 2015, or mid-2015 actually, not thinking about that. But yeah, not too much to say on that game. Next one is some type of new 3D Mario game. So whether it's Mario Galaxy Free, Sunshine 2... 64 HD remastered, whatever you want to call it. There will be a new 3D Mario game. It will probably be playable. It will probably come out this year. Uh, yeah, I can't really say anything else because I have no clue what it is. Uh, I also think we will see a new Metroid game. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a 2D one for the 3DS or Prime 4 for the Wii U, but one of those I think will be made or maybe even a new type of Metroid game, maybe crossing the two together, which I think would be awesome, but once again, I can't really say anything, because this isn't confirmed. Uh, now, for an actually confirmed game, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I think we will have some footage. Obviously, we already have the release date, so that's confirmed. So, I think we'll actually see a lot of footage, since the release date is pretty close. So, yeah. Next one is Nintendo's Figurine Platform. So this is not actually a game, I believe, it's just figurines that can, that are compatible with a bunch of games, one being Smash Bros, or at least we think it is. So I think they're going to show this off maybe with Smash Bros, if not maybe their new 3D Mario game, or some type of new game. I don't know which game they would necessarily choose, and I don't think these are going to be as huge as we think they are. I think it will be really huge for like one game, like maybe Mario Party. But, like, for all the other games that it's compatible with, like Smash Bros., it's not going to be a huge thing. It's just going to be something that adds to the experience. Uh, the next game is a new Mario Party or Mario Sports game. I think Nintendo's going to announce one just because they could kind of use one, in my opinion. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards Mario Party since we just got Mario Kart, which is kind of like a sports game type thing. But... You know, it really could be either one, but I do think we will see one. Uh, and Yarn Yoshi, I think, will be playable. I think it will come out this year. Uh, and I think they'll just reveal a lot more details about it. Now, here are a couple uh, honorable, honorable mentions, I guess you could say, that I don't think are necessarily going to happen. It's very unlikely, but I would be really happy. Okay, first one is a new Mega Man game. I know the original creator isn't working for Capcom anymore, but it'd be really cool if we can get a new one. I, I really love Mega Man, and it's just an amazing series. Another one which couldn't happen this year or next year is a new Paper Mario game. So, obviously, the reason it can't come out this year or next year is because Intelligent Systems is working on a different game, and they're really the only company I want to work on the game since they also made Fountain Your Door, which I hope they go back to that mechanics because Sticker Star was good, Super Paper Mario was terrible, and the original and Thousand Year Door are awesome. So if they just go back to the mechanics of the original, or preferably Thousand Year Door, they'll be a-okay. And last, but certainly not least, this is actually a confirmed game, but I want to see more Kingdom Hearts Free gameplay, and I hope they confirm that Kingdom Hearts Free will be coming to the Wii U. Because a lot of the Kingdom Hearts games have, co have come to the DS or 3DS. So, and now that it's no longer a PlayStation exclusive, since it's coming to Xbox, I think Nintendo deserves to have Kingdom Hearts 3 on their Wii U. Uh, yeah, so I, re I really hope that comes, because I really want to play that game, and I don't want to have to pick up an Xbox One or a PS4 just to play, you know, because that would be a boatload of money that I don't want to spend. So those are my E3 predictions, hopes, dreams, whatever you want to call it. Hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Good